Back in the coffee shop, Keith has questions about oil sands mines. His friend Rita works for the Alberta Energy Regulator, or the AER. The AER has a long history of regulating oil sands mines since mining operations started over 45 years ago. Rita has just told Keith that Alberta's oil sands are among the largest deposits of oil in the world. Mining is used where oil sands are close to the surface. Keith has noticed a lot of information in the newspaper about oil sands and wonders what happens at a mining operation. Rita describes that to uncover the oil sands, machines like bulldozers and backhoes remove the layers of plants and soil that cover it. All this material is put aside and saved for later use. The AER makes sure that an operator has good plans to properly save this soil so that there is enough of it to cover the landscape when the mining in an area is done. Then, huge shovels scoop the oil sands from the ground and dump it into 400-ton heavy hauler trucks. The oil sands are deposited into a crusher where it's crushed and mixed with hot water and then sent by pipeline to the extraction plant. As the hot water mixes with the oil sands, the oil floats to the surface and is skimmed off. The AER ensures that operators are recovering as much of the oil as they can in this part of the process. The oil can be refined on site or shipped to other refineries in Alberta and across North America. The AER regulates all stages of this process to ensure that the project is safe, the environment is protected, and the resource is not wasted. Just as Rita is finishing her explanation, Rita's friend Sean comes into the coffee shop. Sean says hi and asks what she's up to. Rita lets Sean know that Keith is interested in oil sands development. They've just been talking about the separation process of the oil from the oil sands. Sean is very interested in this. Sean grew up in Fort McMurray, where his dad worked in the oil sands industry. Sean explains that when he was a kid, his dad brought home some oil sands and did a separation experiment at their kitchen table. The kids could see that the oil sands were black and sticky and smelled like oil. Sean's dad poured hot water over it and asked Sean's sister to carefully give it a stir. The kids understood that oil is lighter than water, and sure enough, in a minute or so, the oil floated to the surface. And that was a simplified version of what happens at extraction plants every day. Sean notices he's running late and excuses himself. Keith thanks him for his story. Rita asks what else Keith wants to know. Keith has heard a lot about tailings ponds. What are tailings, and why are people talking about them? For more conversations that matter, click on one of the links below or check out the Alberta Energy Regulator at AER.ca.